Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial uh, for GTA on how to install the bodyguard mod. Uh, this is a new tutorial I'm doing and well let's get straight into it because it's very similar to Script Hub 5. Uh, first of all obviously your mods folder which I did mention in the Script Hub 5 video which I've probably posted before this. Um, you want to have that. Uh, you want to navigate to your internet browser and go to the site in the description gta5mods.com now, as I said, you can search for this on scripts, or you can um, search uh, by just clicking the little search icon and typing in bodyguard. Hit enter, and it'll navigate you straight to the one what a lot of people use, the one I use personally, is bodyguard menu 1.7. Uh, simply click, click on this. This part is optional, and I won't be going through that today. Uh, because that involves open IV that's a total different um, mod itself so what I'll be doing is just showing you how to download it and actually run it as you would normally would uh, so all you need to do hit download and this time it won't come up with another screen it'll just say downloading bodyguard menu uh, it'll appear down here so don't think it's anything different it's it's not it's, it really isn't um, next, take that to your mods folder, there you go, uh, drop it in there, and what you will need from this folder is these three files. Now, it will take you to it as soon as you click on uh, the folder this time, it won't take you through any other external folders or anything, it will just have all the mods there that you need. Um, except this one, I don't think, no, we don't need this one, because this one was the optional one. So it will be these two here, bodyguardmenu.asi and bodyguardmenu.ini. Okay, so what you want to do is just close that for now, navigate to your Steam, go to your GTA, right click, properties, then head to no local files, browse local files, and there you go. Right, to have this mod installed, you need to have script hook 5, so if you do not have script hook 5, uh, go check out my other video, I'll leave a link in the description to it. But as you can see, scripthook5.dll, the log, and native trainer, also the dimper 8 from scripthook5. Now, of course, you want to get your mods open here. And then just copy and paste the first two, bodyguardmenu.asi and i and i. And then paste that into your GTA 5 folder. Now you can close that. I'm going to load the game up so I'll continue recording when I get in and I can show you a bit how to navigate and use the mod. Alright guys, now we're in. Uh, again, uh, as I said, I've got script hook 5 installed uh, to open that and close it uh, F4. But also the bodyguard menu. I press F8 for this and you will too uh, to actually open it up. Uh, same ways to navigate around script hook 5 and the bodyguard mod uh, you can spawn pretty much anything in like I don't know uh, my um, a multiplayer character I don't know um, an arm of this guy yeah you can basically spawn them in and tell them to do different tasks um, which should be in you can, you can actually change some of the um, model variations and everything. Uh, to customize what they look like and everything um, add different accessories to them like hats or helmets whatever you want on them really um, also give them some commands follow wait attack nearest the pedestrian uh, all the stuff like that you can also just delete them so that is pretty much it for the bodyguard menu guys if you like this video remember to give it a thumbs up and check out some of my videos um, which are out I will see you in the next video.